What's going on everyone? It's Astrosify here and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Now in my last story time video, I mentioned how I met a Call of Duty pro player and world champion because of my 100 Thieves shorts and today I'm gonna bring you guys the full story. The scenario behind all of this is actually crazy and I even make myself look like an idiot as you'll see in a little bit. Now to set the scene, I was preparing myself for the biggest trip of my life. That is not an exaggeration. For those of you who don't know, my girlfriend Ariana and I met online. And in October of 2021, I was going to fly to California all by myself to meet with her in person for the first time. Now, our relationship started during COVID, so we physically couldn't see each other because of the restrictions. But by this point, the restrictions had finally eased up enough to where I could fly down there and meet her for the first time. Needless to say, I was super excited for this trip, but also super nervous. I was a 19-year-old kid flying by myself for the first time to a different country to meet up with somebody I met online and who I had never met in person before. Now, to all the kids listening, don't do this. Saying all this out loud with little to no context makes it sound very sketchy, but I can assure you all I was extremely careful and cautious about the whole thing. However, I was still a little bit nervous. Now you may be thinking, oh Astro, how could your parents let you do something like this? And truth be told, they didn't. Now what I had originally told them was that I was going to be meeting a whole group of people that I met online down there. There's going to be a couple people from a couple different states, a couple from another part of Canada, and there's a bunch of people that already lived in California, so we we're all going to use that as like a meeting spot to hang out. They originally thought that I was going to be flying to California with one of my friends from Canada, and when I told them that I was flying by myself, they were skeptical at first, but after I assured them that I had known these people for three to four years or more, they calmed down a little bit. Now, I did feel bad lying to them, but I knew I was being careful and I knew that this was the really only way to go about it. And at this point, Ariana and I were FaceTiming every day, falling asleep on the phone every day for over a year by that point. I knew the trip was going to be worth it in the end, and it's safe to say it all worked out. Now, going back to the main topic of this video. I arrived in the airport with all the documents I needed, checked in just fine, and then stood for an hour in line to get into security because they wouldn't let us in until 90 minutes before our flight departed. Now keep in mind, this is just security, and at this airport, you clear customs before you fly, so I had to wait in line for customs as well. However, I did get through okay. The lines weren't horrible as COVID was still impacting travel a lot, but it was just a lot of standing. The line at customs was kind of backed up, but also not too long, and before I knew it, I was at the counter talking to my border security agent. For those of you who don't know, at least in the airport that I was flying from, these agents are in somewhat open booths and there's probably about 12 of them relatively close to one another so you can hear a lot of the conversation that other people are having. Now these agents will ask you a handful of questions about your travel, like why you're going, where you're going and all that stuff. So my reason for travel was to visit some quote unquote family friends. I kind of had to lie about this part because you technically weren't allowed to travel for leisure purposes at this time. But after the security agent gave me a somewhat disappointed look, he told me I was good to go. Now, as I started walking from the booth down the hallway to get into the next part of the airport where all the gates are, I heard somebody behind me explaining the reason for travel and their answer was, I play video games for a living. Now, at first I kind of chuckled to myself and thought it was like, oh, it's probably a game I don't know and kind of just brushed it off, not thinking it would be anybody of real status. Now fast forward to when we're boarding the plane. I'm in my seat and I'm nervous because A, I'm flying by myself and B, as a kid I was always a nervous flyer and now that I've done it more frequently with how often I visit Ariana, I'm much less nervous. But I don't think there was a second between pulling out of the gate and being 30,000 feet in the sky where I wasn't talking to or praying to God. However, God did have a way to make me feel comfortable on this flight. It is also important to note that this wasn't a direct flight to California. I was flying to Dallas first to get on another plane that was going to take me to California. Now, even just mentioning Dallas as the destination of this flight may give you guys an idea of what org this person belongs to. To give you another hint, I'm at my seat and I see somebody boarding the plane and they put a Dallas Empire bag into one of the overhead bins. Immediately, I start thinking to myself, oh wait, Dallas Empire, isn't that a Call of Duty team? And sure enough, he walks a bit closer down the aisle towards me, reaches to where I am, and he kind of stops for a second. I look at him and go, oh, are you beside me here? Since I was sitting in the aisle seat and the window seat was still open. And he goes, yeah, that's me. So I got up, he gets in the seat beside me, and I sit back down, and a little time passes, and we're still waiting at our gate, and he kind of turns to me and goes, do you like COD? Now I was kind of thrown off. I still had my headphones in and didn't really hear what he said, but he repeated him and was like, Call of Duty, do you play it? And I was like, oh, you know what? Not a ton. I played it for a little while, though. And he was like, oh, okay, yeah, I saw your 100 Thieves shorts, so I just immediately thought COD. And I was like, yeah, I'm really big into Valorant, and I'm a huge 100 Thieves fan. To which he responded something along the lines of like, oh, that's cool. And then proceeded to ask me if I've ever heard of Optic. And I was like, yeah, of course. And he goes, yeah, I play Call of Duty for them. 
And in my head, I was like, wait, what? Like, there's no way, surely. So I asked him. And sure enough, he was like, yeah, I'm on the pro team. We won the world championship for Call of Duty last season. I'm literally flying to Dallas right now to visit the headquarters and get prepped for this upcoming season. And in my head, I'm like, what are the actual odds of this happening to me right now? Like, this is so crazy. I also thought to myself how God made this happen and kind of gave me a sign like, hey, everything's gonna be all right. I got you, no need to worry. So in case you haven't guessed it, it was an Optic player and I was sitting next to Optic Illy on my flight to Dallas. We chatted a bit more after that and he told me lots of cool things about the org and a little bit of fortune telling on some events that would later take place if you catch my drift. He even followed me on Twitter on the plane and still follows me to this day, at least on the time of recording. And yeah, he was just a really cool guy to talk to. So yeah, we just chatted for a bit and then the plane took off and to be honest, I think I was in and out of sleep for the longest time on that flight since I had been up for like 30 hours straight at that point and ended up being awake for 45 out of the 48 hours between my travel days. And then yeah, pretty much we landed in Dallas, we both got off the plane, I'm sure he went to go get his luggage and then I was catching my connecting flight to California. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I haven't really talked to him since then and I'm busy with school and you know, he's busy being a literal world champion and professional Call of Duty player, so that's kind of insane. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a sub if you did. Be sure to check out all my other socials like Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. My username is Strazify on all of those as well and I'll put the links in the description. Other than that, comment below future video ideas that you guys might want to see. I pray you guys all enjoy the rest of your day. I will catch you guys all in the next video. Until then, take care and God bless.